Are you struggling to make money through affiliate marketing? If you're not using an affiliate marketing funnel, you might be making a big mistake preventing you from earning as much as possible. In this video, I'm going to show you why an affiliate marketing funnel is so important and how you can easily create one using GPT-4. This is the second part of a series. But even if you haven't watched the first video yet, you can still watch this one. In the first part, we discussed how to drive traffic to your affiliate marketing system and now we'll dive into the crucial step of building a funnel. Stick around to the end to learn the secrets of successful affiliate marketing. Before we get started, let us first understand what a funnel is. Different people have different definitions for funnels. But what I understand is that a funnel is a way to describe how a visitor moves from knowing nothing about your product or service to buying it and becoming a valued customer. A funnel is basically used so that your audience or visitors do not get confused. When you visit a website, you may notice many options to click on, such as different products. However, in a funnel, you can only take one action at a time. This is what makes it special. With a funnel, you can turn your YouTube subscribers into your most valuable customers. Now, let's talk about what mistakes people make while promoting affiliate products. This is the first mistake people make while promoting affiliate products. On the left side, you can see the traffic sources. For example, you are running Google Ads to drive traffic or you have a Pinterest page or you can have a blog. It can be any traffic source. Once you have the traffic, in the first case you are sending them directly to your affiliate product. Let me give you an example of this case. You can see this Instagram page. The page has an affiliate link in its bio. If you click this link, you can see that it sends you directly to the product page. Just imagine what will happen if Instagram suspends this page or shadow bans it. The page will stop generating sales, so it is not the right way to promote the products. In the second case, you send traffic to your affiliate product through a landing page. Let me show you this Google ad. If I click on this link, you can see that it is sending us to a landing page. You can see that the landing page has only a buy button. If I click it, it will redirect me to the sales page. In this case, if the visitor doesn't buy the product at that moment, and he made a plan to buy it the next time, then you will lose the customer because we don't have anything to retarget the person. In both cases, we see that this is not the right method to promote affiliate products. Now, let's talk about the right method to promote affiliate products. You can see this blueprint, which is the right method to promote affiliate products. The top affiliates prefer this method. In this method, the first thing we have is the traffic source, the second is the opt-in page, the third is the bridge page and lastly the sales page or the product page. We are going to create two page funnel. The first is the opt-in page and the second is the bridge page. The final page that you can see is the sales page or the product page. Let me explain each step. In the first step, we will get traffic, it can be paid or free traffic. In the second step, we will drive this traffic to an opt-in page. It is also known as the squeeze page and we will create it ourselves. On this page, basically, we will try to get contact information, most importantly the visitor's email address. To get the contact information, we provide them with some free resources like free ebooks or free courses. Once they submit their email address, it will go to our autoresponder so that we can use it for email marketing. In the second step, we have a bridge page. After a visitor has submitted their contact information, they will land on this page. This page will look almost like a sales page but we have to create it ourselves. On this page, we put our offers, bonuses, reviews etc. There will be some call to action buttons on our bridge page which will redirect the visitor to the sales page or affiliate product page. Now let us see how we can create an affiliate marketing funnel using GPT-4 and free funnel builder, that is system.eo. Now open your browser and go to system.eo. This tool will help us build a funnel completely for free. This is a great alternative to ClickFunnels. Let's see the features of System.eo. You can see that with this tool you can build funnels, do email marketing, build a website, host online courses, blogging and much more. Now, let's see the pricing of the tool. You can see that with the free plan, you can have up to 2,000 contacts, you can send unlimited emails, create three sales funnels, a blog, unlimited blog posts, a custom domain, and much more. If you are a beginner then this is what you need. You don't need to go with the paid plan. Now we will click on sign in to log into our account. Now as you can see this is my dashboard. If someone joins my email list, it will show up here. And if I have a product and am selling it, the sale will show up here. This is where our leads contact information will be stored. This is where we will build our funnel. This is where we create emails and newsletters for email marketing. This is where we will create our blog. That's where we have our automation system. This option is not very important if you are a beginner. Finally, if you click here you see all the settings and this is where you will set up your custom domain and email address. Now without further delay let's create our first funnel. Now click on funnels. You can see that these are funnels that I made last year. 
Before I build a funnel, I'll show you what my funnels look like. I'll click on these three dots. Then I will click on view. As you can see, this is the opt-in page of my funnel where I am offering a free ebook to anyone who wants to learn affiliate marketing and make money with it. Your opt-in page will look like this. If anyone needs this ebook then they have to submit their email address and name. For example, here I'll enter my name in one of my email addresses. Then I'll submit them by clicking on this button. Now this takes us to the thank you page. Your affiliate bridge page will look like this. In this page, as you can see, I mentioned at the top that your free ebook will be sent to your email address. And then I put a video and then a call to action button to book a call. Similarly you can design this page and create affiliate bridge page. Now we'll go back to the funnels dashboard. To create a new funnel, we will click on the create button. Then we'll give our funnel a name. I would call it Brainbox. This is the product we talked about in the last video. Now we'll choose our funnel goal. Since we're going to be creating an affiliate marketing funnel, we'll go with custom funnel and then we'll click save. Once our funnel is saved, we will now click on the saved funnel that is the brain box to edit it. You can see there's nothing as of now, so we'll click here to add a new step. Then we'll name this step as brain box, the chat GPT killer. Then we will choose the funnel type which is squeeze page. Then we click on save. This will be our opt-in page. Okay, now from here we will choose the appropriate template for this page. If you scroll down, you can find some nice looking funnel templates. Now I will scroll down and find a best funnel template for this page. I would choose this as I find it simple and easy to implement. Now I will change the URL path of funnel after certain subdomain. I'll name it Brainbox and then I'll click here to save the funnel step. Here you can see the automation rules for your funnel, you can set them up later. Now you can see this button which is used to view funnel steps. Let's take a look at what our opt-in page looks like. This is just template content. We have to edit it. Now we'll go back to the funnel step. There's this button here that's used to edit our funnel. And this button is for changing template. Next, click on the edit button to edit your funnel step or opt-in page. As you can see the funnel editor has been opened. Before editing or creating any funnel you need to make sure that you have something that you can offer for free. It can be a free ebook, a free course or a free report or any digital information that you can offer for free. But, remember that the free resource you provide must have a relation with the affiliate product. Here, I am going to offer this ebook for free. The ebook includes some useful high-quality chat GPT prompts. So, I give it a name, Mastering Chat GPT Prompting, a practical guide to create high-quality prompts. But actually, I haven't created any ebook yet. This is just to show you an example. Now, to write content for the opt-in page we need to open GPT-4 which is Bing Chat. Let me show you why Bing Chat is GPT-4. You can read this report from Microsoft. The first headline of this report is, Confirmed, New Bing Runs on Open Eyes GPT-4. So I hope you understand why I said we're going to build a funnel with GPT-4. Let's open Bing AI. Now the Bing AI has been opened. Now I will write here. I wrote a free ebook titled Mastering Chat GPT Prompting, a practical guide to creating high-quality prompts. Currently. I am interested in creating an opt-in page to offer this ebook to my funnel visitors. Can you assist me in creating a headline, subheadlines, and additional content for this opt-in page? Then I'll press enter, so it will start generating a script for our opt-in page. As you can see it has started creating a script. Now the script is ready. Let's walk through it and see how it goes. As you can see, it has generated headlines, subheadings, bullet points and even call to action text. Next, we'll select and copy the headline and paste it here in the funnel editor. I think I need to change the font of the headline. Let's do it. On the left, I'll change the font from actor to poppins. Now I will change the font for metallic to normal. Next, let's edit the subheadline. To edit we will go back to Bing AI. Select and copy the subheading and go back to the funnel editor. Now I will paste the copied text here. The font size of the subtitle is too large. From the left side of the screen, adjust the bar to bring the subtitles to their proper size. Then we will increase the font size of the headline. Keep adjusting it until it feels snug. Also, be sure to adjust for mobile since a lot of visitors will come into your funnel with smartphones. Next, we'll highlight some powerful text so it grabs visitors' attention. Next, we'll delete the text below the subheadline. Then we'll adjust the margin between each section so it looks nice. Follow the way I'm doing it to adjust the margins. Next, click on the image to upload the picture of the ebook. Click here to upload the image now. Now click on Choose File. Then select your image. Once it is uploaded, click Insert to insert your image on your opt-in page. You can adjust the size of the image if you think it is too large. After that, we will edit the content of the form. Here it is download your free report now we'll replace report with ebook. Next, we'll change the call to action text of the form. We'll jump to Bing AI again. Then we'll select and copy all the call to action text and come to the editor and paste it here. Then we will adjust the text size. Once this is done, finally we will drag the bulleted list from the left side of the screen to this section. 
Now we'll go back to Bing AI and copy the first statement from the bulleted list that Bing AI created. Then we'll paste it here. This way we will copy and paste all the bullets. Once you have pasted all the bullets, now increase the text size. Next, we'll increase the size of the bullets icon. Now we will change the icon of bullets by clicking on icon selector. From the drop down, I'll select it. Now I'll change the icon color to light green. Now we'll go to our call to action button. You can see here that when someone enters their contact information, it will immediately submit the form. But at the same time, we also want to redirect visitors to the bridge page. But this is possible only if we have a bridge page. Don't worry we will also create a bridge page. If you scroll down, you can see that you can also edit the footer of your funnel. Once you've made your edits, you'll need to click save changes to save your funnel edits. Now click on this button to exit. So we're back to our funnel steps. Now click on add step to create the bridge page. We'll give it the same name as before. Then we select the funnel type as thank you page. Then we'll click save to add this step to our funnel. Now choose a thank you page template from all these templates. I would choose it. Once the template is selected, I'll change the URL path as before. Then I'll click save settings. Next, we'll click here to edit our funnel step. So as you can see our editor has been opened. So, let's start editing. The first thing we'll do to edit our funnel is going to the product page, which is Brainbox's sales page. As you can see we are on the sales page and we have to create a bridge page in such a way that the user cannot understand any difference between the bridge page and the sales page. What I will do now, I will take a screenshot of this video and use it as an image on the bridge page. This image will act as a fake video. And if someone clicks on this image, he or she will be redirected to this sales page through our affiliate link. Now, let's go back to the funnel editor. Now I will remove the top element which is not important for our design. Then I will remove this text also. Now from the left, I'll drag the text element on the top here and paste the text here. Your free ebook will be sent to your email in the next few minutes. Then, I'll increase the margin of the text box below. Now I will paste here that I copied my own funnel. Here I am asking visitors to wait before leaving this page. Now I increase the font size of the text from the left side of the screen. Now I'll adjust the padding of the text box. Then I'll remove this button as well. Again, I'll remove the logo below. After that, I'll open up Bing Chat to write the script or content for our bridge page. Now in the chat bar, I will type, I am interested in crafting an affiliate bridge page to endorse the product Brainbox. The chat GPT killer. Could you assist me in researching this product on the internet and guide me in constructing the bridge page? Additionally, could you provide me with recommendations on how to design the page, including the appropriate headlines, subheadlines, and other critical funnel elements? Also, furnish me with comprehensive details on every aspect of the bridge page. Inquire if you have any questions. Then I'll hit enter to generate the funnel script. I'll wait for some time till it starts creating the script. Now as you can see it has started generating the script for us. Now as you can see after creating half the script, it stops. So, now I'll type here continue the above. Again it will start generating the second part of the script. Finally, our script is generated. Now let's go through the script. Now as you can see, first it talked about the product brain box. Then, it explained to us what a bridge page is. After that, it provided a point-by-point -point explanation of how to create an effective bridge page. Now if I scroll down, you can see that it provides an example of how my bridge page might look like. It generated headlines, subheadlines, entire funnel scripts, bonus ideas, and even call to action. So I've got my script for the page. So let's get started. First, we'll select and copy the headline generated by Bing AI and go back to the funnel editor. Now I drag and drop a headline holder onto my bridge page. Then I'll paste the copied text here. Next, I'll select the title text and change the text color to white. After that, I'll adjust the font size and then, the line height. Then I would set the background color for the text. I will choose a light orange color for the background of the text and then, change the text color from white to black so that it becomes visible and attractive. Next, I'll drag and drop another text holder onto the editor. Now I'll go back to Bing AI. From here, I'll select and copy the subheadline text and return it to system.eo. Then I'll paste the text here. After that, I'll edit the subheadline the same way I edited the headline. Once editing is done. Now I'll drag and drop an image holder onto the editor. Now I will click on the image holder to upload the image. Then I will click on the upload button. Here I will click on select file and then upload the image. After the image is uploaded, I will click on insert to insert the image into the image holder. Now I will adjust the size of the image. I would adjust to a medium size. Now again from the left, I'll drag and drop a text holder onto the editor. Then I'll go back to Bing chat. From here I'll select and copy half of the script and come back to the funnel editor and paste it here. As before, I'll change the text color, font size, and font height. Similarly, I'll copy and paste the other half of the script here again. The last section of our bridge page is the bonus. 
You can add bonuses depending on what kind of additional problems you can solve for people who buy the particular product you are promoting. For example, you can offer free consultation calls, free guides on how to use that particular product or anything that solves the person's problem while applying or using that particular technique or product. Here, you can see, these are the bonuses that I'm offering. You can include bonus images to make them more attractive. Next, we'll add a call to action button in our affiliate link. To do that I'll go into my Warrior Plus account. From there, I'll get my affiliate link and return it to the funnel editor. First I will add an affiliate link with an image inserted on this bridge page. First I'll click on the image, then on the left, I'll add the link here. Then I'll click on save changes to save what I've done. Next, I'll add the button to my bridge page. For that, I'll scroll down and I'll drag and drop a button from the left side of the screen. Then I'll click on the button. On the left, the button editor is opened. Now I'll set the action that the button will perform when clicked. From the options, I'll choose open URL. Then on the URL box, I'll paste my affiliate link. Then I'll adjust the margin and padding of the button. Then I would remove the subtext. I'll keep editing the button until it's just right. Also, be sure to add the call to action text. For example, here I have added, get brain box now. Next, I'll duplicate this button and move it to the top. I would put the duplicate button just below the image. Again I adjust the margin of the text box below. The last part of our edit is adding a pop-up button. To add a pop-up button, click pop-ups in the top left of the screen. Then click add pop-up. A pop-up will appear. You can start editing. You can edit this text. You can delete the email form below. We use pop-ups to remind the user before they leave our page so that they can take action. I'm not editing the pop-up right now. I am leaving it as it is. So I think we're done editing our bridge page. So, now we will click on save changes to save our funnel edits. Next, we'll click here to exit the funnel editor. So we're back to the funnel steps. Now I will open the first step which is the opt-in page once again. When the editor opens, I'll click this button. On the left, we'll change the option from no redirection to the next step. We are doing this because when a user submits his email address, he will be redirected to the next page which is our bridge page. After saving the changes, we will exit the funnel editor and we will return to funnel steps. Let's see what our bridge page looks like. I'll click on this view icon to see our bridge page. It looks cool but I think I could have optimized it a bit to make it more appealing. Now I'll click on this button to see if it's redirecting us to the sales page. So as you can see we have come to the sales page which is our affiliate product page. Next, we'll go back to system.io. Here I will explain a bit about automations and email. To do that, I'll click on automations. Then I'll click on workflows. As you can see I already have a workflow project that is actually working. You can click create to start a new workflow but my account is free so I won't be able to create another workflow. But I can show you how my workflow is working. As you can see when some people submit their email addresses to receive this free ebook, they are immediately added with a new member tag. After that, they are subscribed to email campaigns and within a minute they receive an email from me. So, this is how workflow and automation work. Now I will click on exit. Next, I'll show you how to collect emails from our funnel. I'll go back to the funnels to show that. Then I'll click on view to open the Brainbox funnel. Here I will submit one of my email addresses. To do this, we'll first type in my name and email address here. Then I'll click on this button. As you can see, we have been redirected to the bridge page of our funnel. Now let's see if our email has been submitted to our autoresponder. Let's go back to system.io and click on contacts. As you can see my email is submitted here. So our funnel is working fine. The last thing I want to show is my email campaign. To show you this, I'll go to email, then campaigns. Then I'll click on new members which is the only campaign I've created. Then open this email which is the only email I have created. As you can see, the sole purpose of creating this email campaign is to send free ebooks to email subscribers. Basically, I use Sendinblue to send other emails. I also recommend that you use Sendinblue as you can create multiple campaigns absolutely for free. The last thing I need to teach you is email marketing which is part of this affiliate marketing series. I had already made a video on email marketing 3-4 to four months ago. You can watch the video by clicking on the end card or you can find the link in the description of the video. Make sure to apply all the steps and always focus on building an affiliate marketing system instead of running around to make money with affiliate marketing. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching.